Okay, so, um, I'm a little new to, uh, the whole education thing, um, so I don't know a whole lot about education yet, I'm just getting into it, um, and I'll be honest, this, uh, this article that I read, uh, Schooling in the Capitalist America, um, kind of steep, but I got through it, um, what I think happened, what it's telling me is that um, it's trying to get me to realize that it's not equal in the amount of opportunity, uh, funding, and opportunity for, as well as opportunity for advancement, is not equal to both, say, a predominantly white uh, upper class or middle class suburb um, school that it is than it is with a predominantly black and Hispanic um, inner city school. The funding there and the opportunities there are not equal. Uh, and I get that. I know that my school that I went to, Pendleton Heights High School in Pendleton, Indiana, was predominantly white. Um, there weren't, I had many opportunities that when I would discuss things that I did in high school for art um, class with other students here at Ball State that are uh, majors in art, they're outstanding and like they, they don't understand how it's even possible to have your own dark room and photography department in high school. But for me, I took that for granted um, that we had all that stuff in high school. So I know that the funding and, and all that kind of stuff is very unequal. And the fact that schools are school administrations are kind of developing um, their students well I wouldn't even say I'd go as far as say developing but more so integrating students into our economic society um, and it even says here in the article um, let me read this out real quick It says, similarly, similarly, predominantly working class schools tend to emphasize behavioral control and rule following, while schools in well-to-do suburbs employ relatively open systems that favor greater student participation, less direct supervision, more student electives, and in general, a value system stressing internalized standards of control. So inner city schools don't let their kids do a whole lot. And that's kind of what I get. Is they're just, they're basically, they're integrating their students and just keeping them from advancing internally and mentally and to do what they want to do. It's, it's kind of sad. It really is. I don't know what else, like, like I said, my school in Pendleton, very well off. It even says right here, greater student participation and more student electives. We have photography, you know, ceramics, everything you can think of. We had it in high school. And did Indianapolis Public Schools, did they have that kind of stuff? I'm going to go ahead and assume no. And if they did, definitely not as well uh, funded. Um, I love art. That's why I'm going into education, is to teach art um, to students, mainly high school. Um, and with my understanding of this article, 
I understand the, the inequality is there. I just hope that by the time I get to go out and teach um, art in a school, that the school that I have the opportunity to teach at is well funded um, in the extracurricular activities as well as their art department. Um, so basically that's all I got. Thanks.